This is the brand new Solus from Winnebago. Based upon a Dodge Promaster chassis, features a gasoline engine, front wheel drive. You can see the unique thing about the Solus is the expandable top. There are a couple of variations of this layout available. This happens to be the white exterior. There will also be a red exterior available for a small upcharge. If we walk around the unit, you notice all the screens are integrated into the opening, so they'll zip in place to completely block everything out. As we come around the back of the coach, it's very flexible. These bars are actually attached to the doors, and this is the rear door hanging rod and annex curtain. You could put the curtain all the way across and use it as a outside dressing area or shower. You can just use this as an area to hang clothes to dry. You could also use the magnets supplied with the coach to attach it to the roof and act almost as an awning off the back of the coach. There's an outside shower back here. The unique plumbing system allows for city water fill, hook to city water. You also have the ability to draw water out of a five gallon bucket if you were doing a lot of dry camping. Integrated into the back of the Solus is the flip up under storage area, great place for shoes or other items. Solus is well insulated. It's a section of the honeycomb design on the floor. You can see the automotive style insulation. The great thing is you can access this storage either with the doors open or with them closed. Storage on the side, everywhere there's ability to hide something, try to, or store something, try to have access for that. It's a table which can move in a variety of places. There it would be an extension to the galley. If you move it to the back, you could sit and with a chair and look out the back of the coach. Uses a cartridge style toilet. Now let's go take a look at some of the other features on the coach. You can see an additional outside shower input so you can clean up right before you hop in the coach. Very conveniently placed. The refrigerator is forward facing. The door will open a full 180 degrees, so while we're standing out here, we have full access to everything in the fridge. The freshwater tank has unique sight glass. There's also a recirculating valve, so you can start a loop of warm water. That'll get all the cold water out, save the precious water that we have. Two forward-facing seats. Now let's go look in the upper loft area. This area will support 450 pounds. You have a screen on the driver's side as well as the front that completely opens. This area will support 450 pounds. It has furly springs underneath here, so it's really a great secondary sleeping location. Some power plugs, so if somebody's up there, they could plug in there. Their phones, this area is completely open right now. You can see where the block off and then there's also a screen that you can zip in place. Now, to close this, you simply grab one of the tethers and pull. It takes very minimal effort to close this down and latch it in place. Then to pop it back up, you simply push on it to get it started and then it will automatically raise to the open position. The dinette has three point shoulder harnesses. You can see that the table can fit in a variety of different locations. Swing forward, it can swing to the side. There's room for two adults to sit side by side. It's a built in storage underneath the dinette, as well as the ability to winterize the coach. It's very convenient for winterizing. 
additional power plugs in that area. You have a pull-out shelf in the galley to the left. The wet bath area can double as a closet storage. All of the cabinets have positive locks. When they flip up, they stay up next to the ceiling using magnets. Flying W towel hook. Now we're gonna open the bath door. You can see right now we have the hanging bar in place, so using it maybe to hang wet clothes, but it, again, it's still a wet bath. There's also heat ducted into this area. So in transit, you could use it for storage. This is the table that can flip down, be part of the galley, or it will actually come off this location. You can move it further back. So you could sit with an extra chair. Now to flip the bed down, simply release the bed. Folds down, you can see the slat system allows for air circulation. And now we simply fill in with the cushions. You pick up the cushion on the left, the bed folds down, secures it, and then all of the cushions fold into place. Lastly, here's a completed bed. You can see you still have access to all of the underbed storage area. Again, this is the Solus from Winnebago, the latest in our B-Van offering.